Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. I just got finished up with a uh, Ruger. This is the LCR. That's just a blue gun, but I just finished up a holster for it. <clears throat> this is an outside the waistband. Um, this is our standard outside the waistband clips. They're not bolted on yet, but they basically ride like this. They give you a lot of adjustment holes for height. It also gives you a nice um, drop one here. A nice flat spot so it's not digging into your side. They're real comfortable. And it also allows uh, the belt to feed through a lot easier. It's I'm just gonna throw them all over the place today. Anyway, when they're on there your belt feeds through there a lot easier and you got a lot more space to get your belt through instead of trying to get it through a lot of the loops. So that's why I've switched to these. Um, another reason I wanted to show you this one, I was able to space the holes properly for this. Uh, he wanted some molly attachments for it, so I gave him two sets. Uh, one, this is the uh, .2, uh, 025, or 125 Kydex, the thick stuff. So this one will go here. Got just the screws on with some spacers. So it'll mount to uh, one row of webbing this way. So if you wanted to put it like on your um, pack strap or something, it would work really well that way. I also made a, uh, a set that'll go this way for um, horizontal carry. This will fit uh, the webbing. It would go underneath this way, underneath here to lock two rows of webbing in. So that fits really nice on like a, a vest or something if you want kind of chest carry to get it out. Uh, or you could put it uh, vertical. <clears throat> I figured I'd show you that. That's pretty simple to do. Just the thicker kydex. Uh, it's just bent, you know, to fit on there. And then it slides between the webbing, so. Here I'll show you that. This is the first um, uh, revolver holster like this that I've done. I've done a lot of the uh, little NAA uh, revolver holsters. But uh, the first one with all the different Molly, it worked out pretty well. I had to widen it just about a quarter inch to be able to accommodate all the webbing. But uh, it really doesn't show that much. Added a few cutouts here. I figured get as rid of as much kydex as possible. You know, just that's that much less to dig into your side. A little bit of an opening here, so not a ton, so water and stuff will drain out. But you still won't get dirt jammed into there. Nice smooth back. I like to cut out enough of this so you can get a good good grip on it. And the retention on this one's pretty nice. Uh, it's not just gonna fall out, but it's kind of a nice little little pop. So Alright guys. I I'd show you this before I ship it out. Again, I'm really liking these clips the way they work out. Again, you get a lot of adjustment. Uh, they're spaced at every half inch intervals. So, alright guys, have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching.